if anybody loves pasta as much as we all love pasta, this is amazing. It's just made with yellow lentil flour. I mean, it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's a better choice for um, as far as pastas go. So I got this, I can't focus, sorry about that. I got this basically for Sally, and uh, it's not focusing. Anyway, it's 200 calories. It's only uh, a gram of, one or two grams of fat. No sodium, 13 grams of protein. It tastes pretty good. I mean, I think it tastes good. And he hasn't complained about it yet. Good. I had to try a little bit of the yellow lentil, I think that's what it's called, yellow lentil pasta. And I sprinkled a little bit of nooch on there. It's really, really good. And in here, I made a cucumber salad. It has cucumbers, uh, celery, red onions, apples, and a little bit of avocado, maybe maybe like a third or almost a half. And I had, oh, and tomatoes. And then I poured in some apple cider vinegar. Very, very tasty. Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning and it's pouring out and I'm not going to do a Don thing today. I'm going to watch TV all day long and I'm not going to feel bad about it. I'm just going to watch my recorded shows. It's been a long time since I've just sat here and done nothing. Done nothing? Nice English. Anyway, going to have some coffee, watch TV and do nothing. See you later. Today was four probably medium size sweet potatoes that I baked in the oven yesterday. So I reheated them in the air fryer this morning and that's it. I'm a little bit full so I'm taking the break. So anyways, it was pretty tasty. I'm just working on some pocket letters. I have five of them today to get ready and send out. Watching the season finale of Sinners. Does anybody watch that? It's pretty good. I love Jessica Biel. Good morning. Today's breakfast is one pound of mixed vegetables. I have broccoli and little baby corn and carrots, green beans, what else? Water chestnuts. And I have some white rice on the bottom. I normally eat brown rice, but I had a bunch of, I wanted to use up the, the uh, white rice because everyone's eating brown rice now because it's a lot healthier. So I didn't want to throw it away and I was craving white rice. So that's what I have. And then I also put on some, um, a just sprinkled a little bit of the coconut aminos. That's my breakfast, or brunch, I guess you'd say. I have my windows wide open. I am loving this air. It's like 60 something degrees out. Oh my God, it feels so good to have a beautiful breeze coming through the window. So refreshing. It's gonna get warmer the rest of the week, but I'm enjoying this cool weather right now. Anyway, I'm having a hard time Getting back into a routine, it's, it's kind of it's kind of driving me crazy. But it's like, I don't really even want to do anything. I don't, I don't feel like going out. It's cold, it's rainy, or cold and windy. I don't really feel like it. Um, I don't know, I can't explain it. I'm just in this mood. I just don't want to do anything. Just sit, I'm playing a card game on the computer, I'm watching TV. Um, I'm also having a hard time staying on my healthy eating. 
which, you know, I get in these moods that I really don't care what I eat. I haven't had that, I haven't been in that kind of mood for a while, but I, I hate it when I, when I do get in that mood. <clears throat> I just don't, um, I mean, I have to be careful of what I eat. I mean, basically I eat vegan because of health reasons, mostly. I'll admit it. I mean, that's the, that was the reason why I went vegan in the first place is because of my health. And then I, then I discovered other things that, you know, that I really wasn't aware of or I didn't pay attention to what the other reasons of being vegan. Whatever, I'm not making any sense, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I really just get tired of trying to find something to eat. Uh, or trying or or eating the same thing over and over and over again. So I happen to have found as I was unpacking some stuff, I found um, an old Weight Watchers. You know the little card you get when you weigh in. They write down your your weight. This was six years ago. So I'm only like maybe 20 pounds lighter than I was at that six year mark. Granted, I went up and I went down, and I went up and I went down. But nothing's really changed. I'm still in the same size. I, you know, and I'm, I'm like, I've gone through many different diets since then. And I don't want to say that I'm on a diet now. I'm just eating differently, you know. But I really don't think I mean, I'm not, I guess I'm not in it for weight loss. I would love to see weight loss. I see weight loss in everybody around me. And yes, I like my junk food. I don't have it every week. Um, I just gain weight really fast and I lose it really, really slow. But I don't know, I'm just complaining, I guess. But I, it's just that, you know, it's getting hotter and hotter to figure out what to eat and you know my family likes to go out to dinner once a week and or get takeout once a week and it's I, I just feel like I just want something different you know um, a while back I, I even had some some uh, like sauteed shrimp and it, it didn't bother my stomach at all which totally amazed me because I'm pretty sure it was cooked in oil or or butter even I don't know but at that time, in that place that we were at, that was like the only thing that I could have. There was that was the only thing I could have. So I mean, it is what it is, and I don't know. Part of me wants to just go back and join Weight Watchers, but pick and choose, you know, the foods that that bother me. Um, you know, don't eat the foods that bother me, I should say. But I don't know. I know I'm just ranting, but. I don't I'm know. freezing and I don't want to shut my windows. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, uh, September 24th. Beautiful sunny day, and we are getting ready to go apple picking. It's going to be so much fun. I haven't gone for, I don't know if I went last year or not. I really, honestly, I don't remember. Um, but I love to go apple picking. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to record anything, but I will try. And uh, I'll get back to you again. See you later.
Good morning, you guys. Today is Monday. It is almost nine o'clock. I just got back from my walk. I pushed myself out the door this morning saying, I have got to get back into my routine. This is terrible. It's really, really hard for me to stick. Well, I don't know. It's not hard to stick to it. Well, yes, it is. I'm not making any sense, I know. But once I get off track, I really have a hard time getting back on. I really do. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I feel like I'm the only one sometimes. But um, yeah, I am really forced myself out there. I did almost an hour, probably about 52 minutes or something. It wasn't, I, I did it leisurely. I was not, I didn't like fast walk or whatever, <clears throat> and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't snail-like, but it was just a normal, I guess, comfortable walk. But it's hot out, it's hot. Already it's hot, it's, it's fall. It's not supposed to be hot. So anyway, um, I'm still, I'm like melting. Um, so I was gonna go off my bike ride. I'm still scared of that street, I don't know. I don't know if I told you that before. When The last time I was on my bike, I was going down this road to go to the bike path and a car got a little too close to me and it scared the crap out of me and I turned my wheel and I hit the curb and I almost went like ass over tea kettle onto the sidewalk and scared the crap out of me. And ever since that, I'm afraid to ride my bike. I took it out one more time and then some guy in the parking lot at our at our apartment complex almost almost like backed up into me like he just like pulled right out didn't even look at all so I'm like now I'm like really I'm really scared to go on the bike it's terrible and I, I mean I love riding my bike and I don't know I don't know what else to do there's another road that I can take to the bike path so I might try that and we'll see. I mean, it's it's a busy road too, but it's not as busy as the one I was on that time, but I don't know. So anyways, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna, I, got, I just put a load of laundry in. I love having the laundry room right across my apartment. It's really convenient, so. It's really cool. Anyway, I'm doing that and then, I don't know, probably just clean up my kitchen. I have some, put some potatoes in the Instant Pot to get them ready for the next couple of days. I'm gonna make some rice later. Um, I did go to Aldi's yesterday, uh, Saturday. Sully brought Brenda and I to Aldi's and I got some canned, um, like cut, up beans like the it's these here and they're really I know I'm half blind I have to read like this um, I mean it's it's got a little bit of sodium but not a lot it's only 55 milligrams of sodium I don't know if you can see that or not but anyways I thought I'd, I got a few of these cans at Aldi's and I'm just gonna drain them and rinse them and add it to some add it to my salads or add it to some rice and uh, or even potatoes. I don't know, add it to anything. But it's fast, you know, it's fast and convenient. So that's what I got. And what else did I get at all these that's, I don't know, I, I didn't do a food haul because, I can't do a food haul with Sully here because he just does not, he gets so irritated when I pull out my phone or forget the camera but the phone or anything to record anything it's just not worth the hassle so he's um so anyways we went got all these I got uh can't even remember what the heck I got I don't know but we got a lot of snacks for Brenda for her work and um some uh I don't know God, I don't even remember. Oh, it's some chicken sausage that Sully likes. That's what I got. So, and then we went apple picking yesterday. That was so much fun. But I'll tell you, I missed 
my little KK and Amy and B. I miss them terribly. Uh, we always go every year as a family. So, yeah. So that was, we had a great time. And I did have some apple cider donuts. I can't help it. They were calling my name. Um, I did have that. And what else? Apple cider. That was just amazing. And, when, and then last night we made a drink with apple cider and some of the, the rye whiskey that um, we got from Gloucester when we were there with my brother. So that was good. Just a little one. Um, so what else? Got a ton of apples. So now I'm looking for... Um, I know I, s I had a recipe that I used to make all the time because I don't know where the heck I put it. Uh, it's apple salad and it's made with coleslaw. Or coleslaw with apples. I don't know. But it, uh, I believe it was fat free. So, which is a good thing. So I'll have to search for that too. So anyway, I just thought I'd say hello. And I'm just going to end this whole vlog now because I didn't realize I didn't end it before. So... Um, I just want to thank you guys for hanging in and, and uh, sticking with me and hoping things are actually things are going to get better from here. I'm not hoping or wishing it. They are going to get better from here. One day at a time, I am going to straighten out my healthy eating, not worry about weight loss because I think I'm worried about it too much and it's just not happening. I've all, you know, I've always been a s slow loser and it's just the way it's going to be. As long as I'm eating healthy and moving, you know, off the, off the couch, what else can I do? You know, I can't make five pounds every day pop off or whatever overnight. It's not an overnight thing. It's a lifetime. And that's, you know, I think I'm getting too obsessed with losing weight. And maybe that's what's preventing me from losing weight. Who knows? Probably. But healthy eating, eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full. And that's it. And stick to it. Don't fall off the plan. Anyways, I know it's very hard to fall off and hard to get back on, but practice makes perfect, right? Okay, you guys, I will see you soon, probably tomorrow, and um, have a great day. Bye.